Hey, I'm Nemius, but you can call me Nem. I bought the MTN5 drill router and I've been testing it for slightly over 4 months now. I watched a few people review the router before I bought mine and the uh, main features that got my attention were the improved connection quality, better upload and download speed, lower latency, etc. However, what stuck out to me were the tests focused on gaming by the reviewers. They weren't really limit testing and they didn't focus on the issues that plague gamers from our region. Long story short, I didn't feel satisfied with their testing and sourced the test down for myself in a more strenuous environment. I've been testing it for over 4 months now and I can confidently give my review as well as a few tips that I feel are necessary knowledge if you're considering the router and making the upgrade. Alright, first things first, the ping and connection consistency. I've been playing on 150 to 210 milliseconds of ping with processing delay factor in for around like 5-6 years now across many titles and after using many connections before switching to the MTN 5G last year in November. Some of the things I noticed were my ping dropping by roughly 20 to 15 milliseconds across multiple titles, leaving me usually on 120 to 160 milliseconds even with processing delay factored in. I explain processing delay in somewhere on the screen. My, some of the things I noticed as a result of this were my inputs were less delayed, my shots are more responsive and they register much more consistently, getting shot around borders occurs a lot less, and picking up weapons in battle royale games like Apex actually had less delay. I'd rate the ping quality with processing delay factored in as a 9 out of 10, and the connection consistency to be 7.5 out of 10. I'll elaborate more on this later. Alright, so let's discuss the pros and cons. So, the pros of upgrading to this connection. Number one, your downloads, updates, and things of that nature that usually take like several hours to a few days in some cases of big games now happen in several minutes to so slightly under a few hours. For reference, I downloaded a Blood Hunt, it's a 20 gig game on Steam. In slightly under an hour, Apex Legends took me slightly under two hours to download. Uh, something else to note streaming, uploading, and general browsing are pretty much flawless, even at the higher resolutions like 4K you rarely ever see a buffering icon on your screen so gaming is pretty much perfect now a few months ago i couldn't say this because i'd experienced those stutters and those issues with ping amongst other things but it's actually improved a lot i don't know what happened on the mtn's end but the connection quality has improved very marginally so i will give them props where they are due let's get to the cons the first thing I would like to point out would be the sheer cost. The router costs 50,000 naira, which may not appeal to everyone. However, they do give a 100 gig bonus broadband plan. So to speak. But I've heard there are going to be like Mi Fi and SIM cards, 5G of course, made available alongside other networks getting their own 5G devices and services running in the next few months. So things will become more affordable as time goes on. The second thing I'd like to point out would be the inconsistencies. It hasn't been a flawless experience till this point, which I'm partially, okay, completely to blame for. The problems began dead. after I'd exhausted the 100 gig bonus data plan that they gave after buying the device. I proceeded to buy a 55 gig mobile data plan after, and here's some of the problems that I created for myself. So I would have some issues loading up uh, certain types of media. So you can't really predict what you can and can't work with until you eventually run into it. So some platforms, apps or sites would have a lot of issues. Like Twitter posts for example, they wouldn't, so my tweets would not go through. Images would not load up, my videos would stutter like crazy. I'd have to start and stop them multiple times. If you're playing games with it such as Valorant for example, no matter how low the ping value you saw on your screen was, you would have 5 to 15 percent oh, packet loss and it would either be the most random occurrence oh, within your match or it will be consistent throughout your day it would not stop no matter how good your connection is no matter how good your setup is it does not matter the packet loss would still be there across every single game would you would sometimes you run into maybe downloads being possible on certain platform your connection speed is irrelevant to your download speech on that site and you just can't do anything about it. So after experiencing this for around a month or two, I 
contacted MTN support and they explained to me what was causing this issue. They said that I needed to, instead of buying a mobile data plan, I should buy a broadband slash router data plan. Because those offer much better connection quality overall and they are far more reliable than the regular mobile data plans. So after getting this feedback, I proceeded to buy a 75 gig broadband plan for 15k and the performance has been reliable throughout the month of February. It's been very, very satisfying. The third con I'd like to point out would be the connection speed advertised in the marketing slash reviews that uh, came out around the same time I bought this. I had it at uh, 1 terabit per second, so connection speed in terms of like download. But that has been pretty far from my experience. Although it makes sense because imagine everyone had a terabit per second connection on a device. I don't think right now we can sustain that kind of connection. Right. My experience was 80 to 100 megabits per second. And I advise you taper your expectations before you purchase it so you're not like uh, disappointed when you purchase it. It's the tips and tricks can get the most value out of your router. Number one, make sure you use the MyMTN app. They give a lot of bonuses after you purchase plans from the uh, platform as well as it can show you your details such as your number, how much data you have. Second tip, Apex Legends will randomly state that your profile is not permitted to play the game. So I found a way to bypass this. All you need to do is start the game up with a different connection. I, I start the game, I get past the main web browser. As soon as I'm on the lobby menu, I put the 5G connection back on, either via Wi-Fi or the Ethernet cable. Third tip, try to use an Ethernet cable. And make sure you position your router using the MTN browser page. For the Fourth tip, go into your, your browser portal and make sure you navigate to the settings, the Wi-Fi settings. Switch it from auto to 5G NSC, which is 5G not standalone. So you are consistently on 5G no matter how you use the router whenever it's on 5G, provided it doesn't have any issues. Thank you very much for watching up to this point. This video took uh, roughly four to five months to make and it was kind of expensive. So I'd appreciate a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, give me some feedback in the comment section because you can't really see dislikes anymore. So.